Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create an anchor link in your Squarespace website. What we're going to do is place a code block on a page in your website, and that code block will act as a behind the scenes label, if you will. And what we're going to be able to do is link to that label, not only from the page itself, but from anywhere on your website. I'll show you how to add a link to that anchor from your main navigation or a button on a page in your website as well. So I am doing this in my Squarespace 7.1 demo site, but it works in any version. So let's hop in there and I'll show you exactly how it's done. So here we are in my demo site. And let's say when someone clicks on this button right here, what I actually want is this section to be pulled to the top of the browser. So that section is where we're going to add our anchor link. I'm going to select edit. And then I'll go ahead and just click on this plus sign here to add a code block. So now that I've added that code block, what we're going to do is label this space with the link for our anchor. So I'm going to say div ID equals, and I'll just type out the word anchor between quotation marks. As soon as I close that angled bracket there, it'll finish with forward slash div. And that's basically telling the browser this little spot right here, that called, that's called anchor is basically all we said. So now I'm going to say apply and let's scroll up to the top here and double click on this button. Because I'm on this page, my click through URL can just be hashtag followed by the word anchor, what I labeled that anchor. Okay, we'll select apply and we'll select save and let's check this out together. When I click on the button, my anchor is now pulled to the top of my browser. So a couple of pro tips for you. Yes, you can have more than one anchor on a page. And yes, you can call it whatever the heck you want. Just don't have a space. Make sure whatever word you name the anchor is between those quotation marks and there are no spaces involved and you'll be good to go. Now, when you're linking to this on the same page that the anchor is on, all you need to link to is hashtag followed by the word you used for the anchor. In the example, I used anchor just to try and make it easy for you. If you're going to link to this from a different page on your site, from your main navigation or a blog post, anywhere else on your site, what you need to do is link to your domain forward slash the URL slug for that page, hashtag the anchor. Okay, so I've got that on the screen for you here. That is the domain forward slash the URL slug for that particular page, hashtag anchor. And that'll take people directly to that anchor on that page. Again, if you're using a button on the same page, don't worry about all of that information. Just hashtag and the anchor name will take care of you. Okay, awesome. So that's it for this super quick tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.